Okay guys, welcome back after that short advert break. Let us continue with our second example. So here yeah, I'm saying John has a savings account on which 5.5% per year interest is paid. Interest is calculated daily, but compounded monthly. Okay. On the 1st of March 2023, the opening balance in his account was 15,709 Rand and 50 cents. So that was on the 1st of March and that was the opening balance. The only transactions during March are 4,500 Rand deposited on the 10th of March and 1,350 Rand withdrawn on the 25th of March. Okay, so there was a deposit on the 10th and then a withdrawal, okay, on the 25th of March. And the amounts vary, it's 4,500, and for the withdrawal, it was 1,350 rand. Now, calculate the closing balance on the account on the 31st of March, 2023. Okay, so that is what we need to do. So let's use the space to quickly answer this question. So first up, it's important to note, right, as indicated the previous slide, remember, here, yeah, our interest per year is 5.5%, okay? So I'll start off by indicated, indicating the interest, right? So interest charge is 5.5%, right? And now remember, this is done on a compounded monthly, okay? So I'll say 5.5%, right? And remember, what is the opening balance? It should be 15,709 rand and 50 cents, okay? But now, very important to note is it was the same balance for a period of how long? 10 days, now, okay? So that I divide by 365 as well, multiply by 15,000, oh, sorry, so it's 5.5% multiply by the 10 days, we should still indicate the 10 days as well, okay, on the balance of 15,709 rand and 50 cents, okay, and then remember it is for, divide that by 365 days, right, remember it says it's calculated daily but compounded monthly. So the interest earned for the first 10 days therefore will be 23 rand and 67 cents, right? So I hope that makes sense. Now, from the 11th all the way up to the 25th, right? That the balance in the account is what? Is now 15,709 rand and 50 cents, okay? But now, what happens here? So this is still for the month of March, right? So this is what is in the account. So now I'm going to say it is 15,709 rand and 50 cents. But what happens now? On the 10th, okay? No, sorry, I'm, I'm, this must be, can I just erase this? So that's the first 10 days, right? That, that was the balance. But now, what happens on, yeah, on the 10th, right? So on the 10th of March, there is a deposit, we agree, a deposit of 4,500. So what is the balance now on the 10th? So it's the 15,709.50 cents for the first 10 days, plus now the deposit of 4,500 rand, okay? So let's quickly see what's the new balance now, 15,709 rand and 50 cents plus 4,500. Let me just, 15,709 rand and 50 cents plus your 4,500. So this will give us a new balance in the account now of 20,209 rand and 50 cents. That is now on the 10th of March, right? So now from the 10th all the way to the 25th, that remains the balance. We agree. Okay, so that will give us then how many days? 15 days, right? So now I'm going to calculate the interest for this time frame, right? What will the interest be from the 10th 
all the way up until the 25th. Why the 25th? Because remember now, that's where a new activity in this account is happening, right? It's the withdrawal. So therefore, I'm going to take again the 5.5% of, remember now it's the new balance of 20,000. 209 cents, but now this time it's for how long? It's for 15 days now from the 10th all the way or actually uh, to the 25th, right? So therefore this will be for 15 days and I'll divide that also by 365. Okay, so let's quickly calculate this. Multiply by 5.5 divided by 100. Okay, so 5.5% multiplied by your 20,209 rand and 50 cents, multiplied by 15 divided by your 365 days. All right, so if I do this, I'll get interest for this time frame of 45 rand and that will give us 68. And remember, we round off to two decimal places. Right, so the interest for this time frame is 45 rand and 68 cents. Okay, so now what happens then? On the 25th, right? The 25th year, there is a withdrawal. So remember, and I'll write it down on the 25th of March. What is happening now? Okay, at this point in time, there's a balance of 20,209 rand and 50 cents. But now money is taken out of the account an amount of 1,350 rand. So I'm going to say minus 1,350 to see what the new balance is. So therefore, I'll take 20,209 rand and 50 cents minus 1,350 rand. Why am I subtracting? Because it's a withdrawal, right? So the new balance now is 18,859 rand and 50 cents. Guys, are we clear? So therefore, from onwards from now for 26 all the way up until the, the 31st, all right? How many days will that be? All right, so we count that will give us six days, all right? Okay, so therefore, I will calculate interest now for the time frame all the way up to the end of the month, the 31st as indicated here. So the interest again will be 5.5%, right? Of, remember now I look at the balance here, 18,859 rand and 50 cents. I'll multiply that by six days, right? And remember, since it's daily, I'll divide by 365. Okay, I hope that's clear to all of you. Let's quickly go back. So I'll type in then 5.5%. Of means I multiply the balance at this point in time, 18,000. 859.50 cents. It was for six days, and I'll divide that by 365. So when I do this calculation, I'll get my interest of 17 rand and five cents. Okay, so remember now, the aim of us is to calculate the closing balance. All right, so I'll write it down here. Remember, at this point in time, the balance is the 18,000, we agree. So therefore, I'll take the 18,000, 859 rand 50 cents, plus the interest here, the first interest, plus the 23 rand and 67 cents, plus, where else did we earn interest? Here, for the second tranche here, that is 45 rand and 68 cents, plus what else? The last bit of interest, right, for the six days, plus your 17 rand and five cents. All right, so let's see what is the total in the account, meaning the closing balance. So I'll say 18,859 18, rand and 50 cents, plus my 23 rand and 67 cents, plus 45 rand, 68 cents, plus 17 rand and five cents. So therefore, the closing balance at the end of March 2023 will then be, and I'll write it here, 18,000 
945 rand and we have a few cents there and that will be 90 cents. Okay, let me just write it proper. So at the end of March 2023 in this account will be 18,945 rand and 90 cents. Okay, guys, I would say thank you so much for joining me today. Hope to see you next time. Please stay safe and work every day. Until next time. Goodbye.